Hey there, YouTube Lamb. So we just finished watching Leprechaun Origins. Yeah. We did. This is going to be spoilerific. There's going to be a lot of spoilers. So if you haven't seen Leprechaun Origins, that's good on you. Good but uh, we're, we're going to talk about it anyway because we've been going to watch for a while. I've had the Leprechaun <laughs> box set, the Blu-ray set. Oh, man. And first off, I have to say one thing that very extremely positive. Those trailers were remastered yeah, and the, really well. The and logo. <laughs> the Lionsgate wow. logo was incredible. I love that Lionsgate logo. logo was really awesome. Awesome. Movie. Uh, WD's logo was pretty good too. Yeah, is that right? I mean, yeah. it was remastered. Blu-ray. If you love Blu-ray remastering and Blu-ray, just really good quality picture. The Leprechaun movie does have some great quality picture and the God, there's some really awesome scenery too. There is some amazing scenery like, in this film. If you cut out all the everything that isn't scenery, <laughs> you have a wonderful like oh, Ireland you, tourist video. That, I love the green that's shown at the beginning of the film. So green. Very I love green. the green. It's like really, really green. Okay, green. anyway, we got to get with the movie. You know what isn't green? <clears throat> the Leprechaun. Oh, yeah, whatsoever. Uh, anyway, so it starts off with two people running through the. Uh, through this very beautifully green lush area and uh, it kind of reminds me it's got a Texas Chainsaw Hills Have Eyes kind of like a, a, a wrong turn this is a wrong turn yeah. Ireland wrong turn Leprechaun I guess uh, type of feel to it and we see what kind of reminds me of the Children of the Corn type of thing that, yeah you know he walks behind the rose and uh, anyway they die they do they, they get die. killed and, and they kind of get killed almost off screen really when you really think about it we get to see a like lot that. of the deaths in this are almost off screen well we get to see the guy's fingers is, is cut is bit off no we get to see the fact that it was bitten off yeah, not well, it get bitting off bitten and off. we get to see like he's got a cut on his face and the a lot of it is damage, very like seems back random. and forth it seems random like, it is even, even when, when they show him again it's like okay his fingers bit off and there's like a random cut right it's just yeah. very random but anyway uh -huh. That was the opening of the film. Then we get to see our our heroes, and it's uh, again, just like in every wrong turn film, it's uh, two guys and two girls. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all friends. Uh, some are going to be like really heroic, and others are going to be cowardly. And you get to see pretty early on who that's going to be. Now they go yeah. into a town. We're not sure why. We it's, know this they is really the last hunt week. down this town too. Like yeah. they. They're hitchhiking to get there, and they have to walk another 15 minutes to get in. And, and they never say why. I mean, They like just kind of say that there's some historical stuff there, and they reference that like the girl is a history buff and wants to get a master's in history, but that's not really... That's not like a legitimate reason. In fact, they only find something really historical there when they get there. There's and no does, like previous... Yeah, I actually say she's actually maybe not going to get her, her yeah, history. Yeah, she's like, I'm not going to get it. And like, so, there's a scene where they're like... Yeah, it makes it's a, it, it, it's a bit clumsy. The setup is clumsy. The setup, the the actors are good. It's an attractive cast, like uh, all these movies are. Uh, two very attractive females. The setup, uh, yeah, as clumsy as it is, the setup is probably the best part of it. Is the uh, guy that they meet in the bar? They meet so they meet a guy in the bar. It's cool. Yeah, but yeah, and very good actor actually. By it's, the way, grounder from the the uh, Adventures of a Sign Yeah. But uh, anyway, so he's this Irish guy. And he basically tells them that he knows of this area that's got like basically this steeped in history nobody knows about. So take seven a, hours away. Yeah. Just come into my truck and we'll <laughs> so bring you to our home. So they go. They're like, yeah. Okay, now just picture you're somewhere that you've never been before in a town mm -hmm. that nobody knows about really basically. It's like this out of the woods, out of the way type of town. And all of a sudden you're saying, Well, yeah. Yeah, I'll go with the strange <laughs> go guy with the strange in the bar. So they've never seen any horror movies before. They obviously have never seen Wolf Creek or anything like that. Uh, yeah, honestly, or any horror movie, anywhere. It seemed really rushed to get them there because they like they arrive in a small truck, they walk in, they step in for about five minutes. They're like, "Where are we gonna go?" And a drunk, guy, like a guy at the bar, is like, "Oh, I can take you seven hours away from here to see like awesome historical stuff." And they're like, "Yeah, I see yeah, nothing wrong with this. Let's go live in his cabin for like a night." And even when they get there, they see this like beatable cabin, and they're like, "Oh yeah, th there's nothing sketchy about this." <clears throat> the guy even kind of threatened something along the way. Now, that being said, the the whole the bar scene was a nice refreshing change from the really evil looking uh, townspeople. Townspeople were, seemed, of course, kind of normal and, and friendly and stuff, which is not usually what we get in this type of thing. We usually get like a, oh, it's the outsider type of type of deal. And that was kind of kind of cool, refreshing yeah. to see that. Uh, they did a kind of neat sequence with the uh, with the guy. The guy did, was a good storyteller, and he did a good job of like kind of. You could kind of, even though it's ridiculous that they were lured in by him, it's still, you could kind of see the charm that the guy had. He had the Irish charm. So they go in this truck with a... We can beat around the bush all day and talk about the nice things at the opening. <laughs> yeah. 
and it no. was green. So, uh, okay. anyway, they get up to the cabin, and right away, bam, he puts this this gold Rolex watch outside, and we know right right then. Well, you kind of know anyway. These people were put up there for one reason, one reason only, to be sacrifices for the leprechaun. Long because story short, basically, they stole the gold from the leprechaun. The leprechaun is wants basically, uh, I guess, penis sort of. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, sort of uh, like, they got sacrifice people for the leprechaun. That's pretty much what it is. So, here's where it gets really, really bad. Uh, if you've seen a Leprechaun movie before, you know Warwick Davis was... Uh, I was wondering when we were actually going to bring this up. <clears throat> the yeah. fact that this is the new one in a series of films. This isn't a new concept, or at least we know that. I don't think WWE knows that. <laughs> it's uh, Origins, by the way. So this is supposed to be... I don't get the name Origins. either. Well, None of it makes any sense. I said in the making of, which was on here, they wanted to do what a leprechaun would look like hundreds of years ago, maybe Not as opposed to ago. the legend. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that doesn't whole, work. You, Not to mention you're working on a... It's like if I said, say, ah, uh, I'm going to make a new Jason film, but... I'm not gonna have him like a big hulking monster like guy. I'm gonna see like I'm gonna think about what a real mongoloid looks like <laughs> and what he would have really grown up as as a skinny kid. But here's drowned. the thing, that might work if there's a real sort of things in mind, but <clears throat> as far as I know, leprechauns aren't real. And as far back as I can think with the Celtic legends, leprechauns are more known not to be bestial creatures but kinda of be like the uh, kinda of like the trickster. Yeah. That's kind of the concept. They're not like a, uh, they're not monsters. Yeah. They're not, they were, they're never meant to be like, kind of like these underground dwellers or these kind also, of like mystical Also, cool to make creatures. it darker. And another film that tried to make things darker but failed miserably was the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street. Where, oh, yeah. And then but they at least they it tried perfect. a little bit to keep the charisma. I mean, it's not there because like, I love Jack Earl Haley, but like, there's not enough lines or stuff like that for him. But, like, in this one, they're like, what's the most, like, important thing about the leprechaun? And they're like, well, maybe it was uh, the leprechaun itself. The, like, staple of the franchise. The cool, like, I'm glad you brought, thing. He just throws it out. I'm kind of glad you brought up Nightmare on Elm Street. Because, like Nightmare on Elm Street, where this really fails, is that both the leprechaun series and the Nightmare on Elm Street series are known for their creative usage, usage of kills. Yeah. Uh, from the pogo stick death in the first movie to just like the, uh, I think the uh, casino was in part two, right? Yeah, part two. Mm. There was in two is about Vegas. Uh, now, but uh, this one here is really devoid of any like really interesting kills. There is a really neat one uh, done there. And you know what? Uh, just in case you see this one, should we give this one away? Because it's so well done. Uh, I guess it's just not. like the most well done thing in the film. It's uh, the one part of the film where I was like, oh, wow. Clever. But it doesn't actually make sense because it shows a level of intelligence that the leprechaun doesn't have. Well, we get, we just assume it doesn't have. We're not giving them up. I mean, let's face it. It's at the end of the day, we're given like time. a couple hours in this in these people's lives and in this like leprechaun thing. Yeah. And we know for a movie called Origins, we don't get nothing. No, there's no real origin. I mean, like as far this is the origin. The le they leprechauns. Yes. Yeah, they stole gold out of this cave and pretended it was a mine. And they had, for hundreds of years, they've been giving uh, people back to the uh, leprechaun. That's the that that's your origin. That is that is what you get. You do you still do not know anything more. Because why do the leprechauns look like this? Uh, how will they become the creature that we know as a, as with if, Warwick Davis's character? If that's where they're going to go with it, which would I was hoping maybe at least I thought it'd probably be pretty awful, but I was hoping to at least see it talk. At some point, maybe, oh. to reference the fact that it... As soon as I saw the face, I knew I didn't want to talk. And the, here's oh, the thing, dude. No, it would be awful. But I thought maybe yeah. something to the show it was more than just a monster. Hornswoggle. Uh, mm -hmm. Dylan, some, he plays uh, the leprechaun. And no you know, offense to him, but he's not Warwick Davis. And not even close. I feel bad for him, in a way. Like, if someone told you you're going to have to play an incredibly charismatic, like, interesting horror icon, you're like, yeah! You're like, but he's not going to talk. You're barely going to see him. And you're going to be in, like, a paper mache, like, children's suit for half the film while we shake the camera at you and make it really blurry. Yeah, there's a couple Predator-like scenes in there. Like, we did make Why can he see Leprechaun vision? Yeah. And uh, we also have, like, a, kind of just some, like, every once in a while, 
a character will get stunned or get knocked down or something like that. And slow motion. And then they'll have like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's concussion. This slow motion yeah. happens and there's like concussion, like blurry, like, and it happens, it's not just once, it's like two or three times. So what did you think of the film overall? It wasn't very good. It was I mean, a crappy it was a, leprechaun movie, it was, but you know what? It was a shitty leprechaun movie, but it was a meh normal movie. Yeah, it was a decent normal, like, right. it's a time waster. It was a time waster. It's would okay. I watch it again? I would probably watch it again. The ending but was really I, bad, too. I would, yeah, I would actually, I would kind of like, kind of take myself at the whole leprechaun part of it and just watch it for what it was, which is a, a low-budget horror movie, uh, kind of fun, had some attractive girls, uh, so, oh, no we've nudity. Seen, and this was seen film. better, though. So still. for an exploitation horror film, there was surprisingly no nudity, which, uh, not even breast shots for them. No. Or anything for the girls, either, so, no. Nope. Nothing, not a thing. But, uh... I don't know. Even at like, even if you take the leprechaun out of it, we've seen better stuff. Oh, it was much better stuff. But it wasn't even bad. like wrong turn stuff. It was like, at least you get to see the kills more interesting. Like, there's two kills you see in this film. Literally just two. Well, the way I see this right now, one the of movie... them was just a pun, and the other one was really good. Yeah. The movie, the movie is as a leprechaun film sucked. As a as a sequel or a reboot. It didn't work. It didn't make any sense. But I could see where they were going with it. And for one, I can see that, you know, they really, they were trying. And that's more than I thought they were going to do. The best compliment I can give it is that, was that, no matter what, it was awful, awful. I didn't really like it myself. It had some okay ideas. But at least it was better than See No Evil 2. Yeah. Which, I don't like that one. Bad. Like, I didn't like Sino Evil the most. It was okay. See, I didn't like Sino Evil. So. It was it was all right. Like it was a decent film. So for the second one, I thought, well, you know, it would probably be another decent film. Sino Evil Two was not a decent film, and what? somehow Leprechaun is slightly better. Slightly better. Well, here's the thing: it's 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 a bad Leprechaun movie. It's not a good movie. I cannot recommend it, but it's not boring. No. Uh, it goes fast. Uh, the special effects are horrible. The uh, but at least they're practical. I'm at least, at least it's practical of special effects in I'll give it credit for that. Except I'll give for, credit for there's a couple CG scenes. Yeah. But mostly practical. Yeah. And bad practical. But still, let's give it credit for what, what it's due. The, it was an attractive cast. They were not bad actors. Uh, all the, the cast were decent actors. I so did give it that. The character that I kind of liked was the Sh Sean character. Was that the uh, guy? Yeah, the guy, like the one who's Sean. having second thoughts all the time. The kind of Donald Logan Right? Yeah, his storyline was okay. You know? I wanted to see more of that character, and he I was would hope that since we stuff. never actually saw him get killed, we never did, uh, that he could actually come back if he actually followed us up. There's a few scenes, honestly, I'll say, where I thought maybe they might set up. Is this a good movie? No, but do you think it was promised? Do you think that they could do a decent sequel in this episode? Yeah, if they do a sequel, I'd like to at least see something implying more connection to. What natural leprechaun is supposed to be? Yeah, and if they can't do that, at least gives an explanation for the type of creatures that we got. Maybe yeah. this is the ancient, like, kind of like the before. Maybe I think like pre I like prehistoric man. Maybe this prehistoric leprechaun or something. Like that. Don't they explain in like Back to the Hood? I think like in an opening like cinematic thing that uh, that like the leprechaun that we see is like the last of his kind. And then something happened to the leprechauns, and it, like, changed him. No, oh, they pressed the reset button on Yeah. Well, like, in this case, we could, it could possibly, we could possibly get, like, a connection where it's, like, you know. Okay. Where, uh, where it's, like, well, he grows over time, but no, probably not. Honestly, it was a monster film. It wasn't really leprechaun. But at least it's a monster film, and I was, I was, I was, I was excited to see a, new, a monster film. Not a decent one, but a monster film. I watched the sequel. Uh, it was better than I thought it was going to be. Is there any case where we wouldn't watch the sequel, though? Like, this literally could have been the worst thing ever, and you'd still be like, ah, we'll watch the sequel. Yeah, Troll 3, we'll watch it. <laughs> Room 2, we'll watch it. Yeah, you know we, what? We're known Honestly, for watching these films. Uh, I was talking to my girlfriend there during the thing. And I made a goblin joke, and honestly, it felt like a Troll 2 situation. Like, that wasn't a leprechaun, that was more of a goblin. It had a very goblin, it was like a weird paper mache goblin look to it, too, with like the pointed ears and like that. So, do you want to do the Troll 2 one? Mm -hmm. Uh. <laughs> Can you go for it? 
I know what my singer is going to be this time. Actually, <laughs> like, I'm not going to say anything. So I don't wish too much. Are you going to use the singer from the movie? No, I've got a new singer. Okay, then I'm going to mention. It. I was going. I was going. <laughs> yeah, that was a clumsy use. It was okay. It was fun to hear. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. That but was, uh, that's the didn't make one. any sense in this, really, because there's no like. Before, it's like, oh, it's a leprechaun. Now it's like, oh, it's a monster that's attacking me. Happened to be a leprechaun. Well, they could have shoved in anything there. The guy could have been making up with his girlfriend. He could use magically delicious. It didn't matter. It's really none of that fit there for this time because it didn't look like a leprechaun. No, it doesn't fit. So, what are you going to, what's your rating? It was a, a one leaf clover. <laughs> one leaf clover. <laughs> that's uh, my rating. Huh. I'll give it to you. Um, I mean, uh, two. And a half out of five. What what do we say? I can't say pots of gold. Uh, I can't say gold really. What do we say? Uh, two and a half. half five like Irish ruined stones. Out of five. Irish ruined stones. Oh, Irish whatever the hell they're called. Uh, and for me right now, it's time for tea. Say hello to the giant lobster head in the sky and Matthew. Oh, leprechaun horns into goblins backward. Oh. Thanks a lot.